This is Dynamics book, Hibbler book, Engineering Mechanics Dynamics, 11th edition, problem number 16-108. It's on page 360. It says the 10-foot rod slides down the inclined plane such that when it is at B, it has the motion shown. The motion shown right here made it bigger for you guys to see. Determine the velocity and acceleration of A at this instant. So it gives us the acceleration and velocity of B. We want to know the acceleration and velocity at A. One way we can do this just to find the velocity is using the method of IC. Way you do this, draw a, a line perpendicular to the motion of point A. Same thing for point B. You see that when these connect, they form your IC. Okay. What you do now is you, f you see in the diagram that this is 60 degrees. Doing geometry, you know that since this is 60, this is 120. Draw a little figurative line here. Now to figure out what this angle is right here, you use the sine law of sines that says that sine of this angle B over the other direction, which is this one right here, but we don't want to do that, we want to do A. So sine of A, which is this angle right here, over 4 is the side against the angle, equals the sine of 120, you can pick any of them, over the opposite, so that's going to be 10. Figuring this out, a equals twenty point two seven degrees. Now we know from geometry that all three angles inside of a triangle have to add up to one hundred eighty. So we take this and we want to find the angle to B. The way we do that is one hundred eighty minus one hundred twenty minus this 20.27 that gives us angle B to equal 39.73 degrees now what we end up doing with this is we know that this is 90 degrees and that this is 90 degrees so the angles on the ex interior right here are going to be 90 minus whatever we got for this so this angle right here which we'll call angle 3 and this one, which we'll call angle 4, if you can see from the diagram. Angle 3 equals 90 minus angle B, which that equals 50.27 degrees for this right here. Angle 4, on the other hand, equals 90 minus angle A right here. That also equals 90 minus 20.27, 69.73 degrees. Okay, same thing right here to find this angle right here. To find this angle right here, you do the 180 minus these two angles, minus 50.27. We get, we'll call angle 5. Angle 5 equals a straight 60 degrees which is good that's a lot easier to work with now what we do with this we want to find the sides right here we need to find the distance from B to the IC and from A to the IC so we'll call this distance C this distance D I'll we'll make that E make it easier to see so distance D using the law of signs again over the opposite one which is angle 3. Angle 3 we figured out to be 50. Sine of 50.27 right here over the this one right here equals this angle here the sine 
of angle 5, which is 60, over the opposite, which is 10. We want to use something that we know, so we only have one. We only have one unknown in the problem, which is distance d. Figure this out. Distance d. Not distance d. Distance e. Distance e. This one at the top right here ends up being 8.88. Feet. We're doing this all in feet because of this. Doing the same thing as right here, sine of 69.73 over distance C equals sine of 60 over 10. DC, which is this side right here, ends up equaling 10.83 feet. Now we did this all geometry, now we're going to use the geometry. What we do with this is we know from the physics book that V equals WR. Now we want to figure out what omega is, W omega, same thing. We want to figure out what omega is for the whole entire bar because omega will be the same throughout the whole bar. It will be shifting around in this direction. So what we do with this is that we use omega equals V over R at point B. Now we know that point B, the velocity is 2, and we use the radius as the radius from point B to the IC, which is the instantaneous center. So that is distance DC, which is 10.83 feet. We get omega to be 0 0.185 radians per second. Using this at point A, we get velocity equals omega r. Velocity equals omega, which is the 0 0.185 times the distance to the IC from point A, which is distance DE as 8.88 feet. Velocity at point A is 0.185 times 8.88. 1.64 feet per second. That is the velocity at point A. Now we need to do acceleration. The only way to do acceleration is you can't use IC method. Now we need to go through it and do it in x, y, and z coordinates.